Perhatian-perhatian, film channel Bogel Cinema akan segera dimulai. Silahkan siapkan minuman dan cemilan Anda. Jangan lupa subscribe, like, komen, share, dan klik tombol You really believe we can just switch out our lives? The decisions we've already made this late in the game? When you really think we can change? What makes you believe you'll be able to acclimate back into society competently without reoffending? I'm sitting here before you both today, a fully rehabilitated person, without a doubt. Um, I've taken ownership for my wrongdoings in the past, and my good behavior in here, and my letter of support acknowledges that. What specific plans do you have upon release, if we grant your parole? I plan to start a new life for myself in a more rural area, and then I just look forward to giving back to the community. Is there anything else you'd like to add? I would really appreciate it if you could find it in your hearts to grant me this opportunity to start an honest life for myself. That's all I want. We'll take everything under consideration. Thank you so much for your time.
Drop me a line, huh, Playboy? We'll get up when I get out. Really the only job you could find. Yeah. I... I've been in prison before, so that makes it hard to get a job. This is just a one-time thing, cool? Yeah. No, that's cool. Look, I'm just, I'm looking after you, okay? No, you're, you're not young, looking after you're me, you're micromanaging Please, me like just I'm... calm down, all right? I just want you to go out and do your job, all right? I'm doing my job! All right, just calm down, all right. Hello? You can I speak to motherfucking Patrick, please? Who is this? Now, don't break my heart. Just got out, man. Haha, <laughs> Dolph. Yeah, I'm finally up out of there. I heard you was in LA. Hello? That's, that's cool, man. Um, Let me know when you get out here and I'll show you around. Hell yeah, you will. Shit, everything good over there? Could be worse. That plane you talked about, let's do it. Time to make some money, man. You've changed a bit. Hey, baby, people don't change, man. <laughs> Shit. You know, smoking's actually illegal in outdoor seating areas in LA. For real? Yeah. Hey, they're gonna have more than smoke to worry about after we finish with their asses, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, but this place is nice as shit, though. I wonder where they get all this goddamn money from. Just people using people out here, man. Mm. So it is. Well, we're gonna fit right on in. Oh yeah. What you been up to, bro? Uh, just you know, trying to keep to the straight and narrow. So you rather be broke and stay broke instead of making some quick fuck you cash? Now that's the real prison. I know the real you. Damn criminal, just like me. Come on, man. You ain't seen your boy in a minute. Just indulge me. I don't know. Maybe get close to one of these trophy wives until you have access to a rich husband's money. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. You're Come on, artist, man. No hesitation. There's a lot of them out here, man. Don't know how good they got it. Check it out. Get them to commit. They have something to lose right there. Throw them in the back of a van. Husband force over the door. We good. Easy money. Man, we be set for the long haul, man. I'm not going back to that life because, hey, it's life if we get caught. Man, fuck prison. I'm with you on that. But don't forget you had me protecting you in there, man. 
And like you said, you owe me. Your words. You're talking about kidnapping. Do you know what that means? Ain't nothing gonna happen to nobody. Believe me. Then I make sure ain't nothing happen to you in prison. Huh? Yes or no? Yeah. Now, partner, when I get back, we're gonna have to get the fuck up out of here because we ain't paying for this. <laughs> Man, look, we're gonna need some upfront money too. He felt so real at the time. He had really convinced me that we were in love. I had no idea that people were capable of such terrible things. Sales and his wife Jenna. How'd you pick these two? <sighs> Seem like pretty shitty people who could do with some humbling. Mm. What about the asshole? What does he do? What the hell is that it? It's like a music producer or something. Definitely an asshole. What about the broad? Actress. She's got a couple of credits, but nothing big. Hmm. Sounds easy enough, wouldn't it? When he goes to the bathroom, I'm gonna go over there, say that I recognize her from something, introduce myself as a young, successful agent who'd like to you know, get her some meetings, give her a call by the end of the week, and, uh, Take it for a drink and yeah, the rest should be pretty easy. Theoretically. Mm. That's some cold blooded shit. <laughs> then it's my turn. I was thinking uh, maybe we could get out of town for the weekend. I mean, yeah. I'm sure I could come up with some kind of story. Make something happen.
nice. You like it? This isn't your wife. What the, who the hell is this? Uh, look man, you don't know who I am, but I've been having an affair with your wife. Something's happened to her and there was a no on the table. a couple more hours. She gonna be all right? Yeah, man. You all right? You getting second thoughts some shit? There are any side effects? Vomiting or whatever. Should be all new by the time she head back to Brentwood for Pilates. It's the ransom note. You talk to the husband? Yeah, man, he's on his way. Son scared shitless. He's got the money, though. Well, there it is. Time to get paid, lover boy. What the hell is that for? Just in case. I'm not starting to actually feel for these bitches, are you? Just don't do anything stupid. Let's get the money and get back to LA. Money? Yeah, I got the money. If I help do something, I'm supposed to be. Here's the note. The ransom note. Where is it?
James? Yeah. Yeah, I... You wanna come inside and I'll show you where I found the note? You got the money? Uh, yeah. In hundreds, like you said. Where the fuck is she? What the I, fuck has been going on? I don't know, I don't know. I just... We just, uh, followed the instructions. I can only come up with most of it. Okay. Uh, no, no, you hang on to that for now. You want to come inside? I'll show you where I found the note. This is our daughter's college education. And how long have you known my wife? Um, about two months. Look, um, I've only got about $4,500 in my bank account. Yeah, I'll take care of it. Uh, which car are we taking? I'm not gonna take the Porsche. Take the Beater. Remember where they said to go? Yeah.
happens. I just, I want to be with you and I'll give up the things that I have here and everything. This isn't your wife. Who the hell is it? Look, Rebecca and I have been having an affair. We left LA a day ago. I woke up this morning, I went for a run, I just got back and she's not here. And there was a note. 50,000 in cash. Or she dies, tell no one, or she dies. It's got an address. It says, bring money and her phone, 7 a.m. Where's this note?
you know, my wife's cheating on me with you and I'm sitting here sharing a bottle with you. Make no sense. Look, uh, we need to talk about what we're going to do tomorrow. Mm. Oh, oh. that woman ever loved me. Yeah, she's gonna leave you too, right? She's just a manipulative bitch anyway. You don't know that yet. You ain't learned that yet. But I have. Hell, it don't matter. We all end up alone anyway. Got to go to the bank. The money's in the back. See her first. No. The fucking blindfold on. Jeez. Here, tie this around your waist. Yes. We 
Yep. We do it. We do it. Come to it. Look, just... I'll, I'll go. You just... Don't do anything stupid. Yeah, well, that's the least you could do. Now! Pop the trunk. Pop the trunk. When you think that you know someone, I mean really know someone that you want to be with, and you find out they've been lying to you the whole time. I don't know what to say about him. I don't know where he could be. Why don't you tell me something about him? Why can't you find him? Is there anything else you can tell me? He felt so real at the time. He had really convinced me that we were in love. I had no idea that people were capable of such terrible things. I'll describe him for you as best I can. The guy in the van. Uh, the most of the time he was wearing a mask. He was a black guy. And I was most of the time blindfolded. How do people even become such animals? He even took my wedding ring. I just feel sorry for that next poor girl. Can you tell us anything? Anything at all? A name. I told you everything that I know. 
I don't want to keep reliving this anymore. I just want you to find them. I know. And we will. Look, thank you for coming in. Okay, it really does help. A lot. All four victims have one major thing in common. It's the same lover. This guy takes each and every one of them on these romantic getaways where they're kidnapped, right? He, uh, he contacts their husband for the ransom. Ransom note says if you contact the police, she's dead. It's three separate sketches from three different victims. Sierra Nevada, San Simeon, Ojai, Palm Desert. It's the same guy. Find a match. You find this creep yet? Not yet. The only way to draw these guys out is to set them up by going undercover. Elaborate, detective. Well, we become their next marks. Dress up in the fancy clothes. We've got the rich husband, Frank. We make them believe that they're conning us. Get them vulnerable, you know? Make them believe in the illusion. And then when the time is right, we move in. All the victims met this guy at high-end restaurants, mostly Brentwood, Beverly Hills. We target this guy when he's on the prowl for his next victim. And that's when we assume our roles as rich husband and wife. You tell me why we shouldn't just save the department time and money and take this guy down now. These guys are too smart, sir. We have to catch him in the act. Both of them. The guy in the van who's drugging these women, we have to get him. Yes, sir, I do agree with that. Go on. The crimes are happening outside of the county. I mean, technically, if we bust them, we have to catch them in the act, right? But more importantly... That they're within our county so we can make the arrest. You're sure about this? Yes, sir. And you're all right with this, Frank? Yes, sir. Hold on, get on it for the feds yet, wait. I don't want them taking credit for this. Yes, sir. Hold on. Tell me more about this shed guy. Uh, well, Patrick Shed, he, uh... His father relocated the family to the States when he got a new job. Uh, shortly after that, he made some bad investments, went bankrupt. Mother uh, leaves his father for his business partner, disappears. His father sinks into a deep depression, alcoholism, suffers an untimely death, leaving young Patrick to fend for himself. 18, he slides into a life of petty crime, all nonviolent offenses. Fourteen years and several small convictions, he's sent to Lompoc. He spends about two and a half years there. He just got released on good behavior. He's teamed up with what we think is a known associate, and they've been pulling these cons ever since.
What are we doing, man? What the fuck are you doing? You got too sloppy. Falling for the mark. Give me the burner. I'm taking the rest. <laughs> now get the fuck out. You serious? Is this your plan all along? You get it to yourself. You're really doing this. Don't make me say it again. Good work, detective. It's not over yet. But go home. Get some sleep. No chance. We have our proof. Let's go make the arrest. Let us know when they land. I want to wrap this up. Yes, sir. Detective? Tim. Does he still buy your cover? Yeah. Answer? Joe, is that you? There's a few things that I haven't really been up front with you about. I really would prefer to tell you in person. I'm at Union Station. I'm going to go to a motel near the airport tomorrow and I'll give you a call then. I look forward to seeing you. Bye. Ciao. Everything okay? He's at Union Station. He leaves tomorrow, LAX. Oh, GPS just landed at the toy district. How accurate is that? Accurate? Patrick Shed's lying. He's just trying to throw us off. Hold up. You gotta stay here on this one. Get some rest. Saddle up. Take it easy.
Hey, excuse me, sir. Just a minute. I need to talk to you. Sir? Hey, stop! Stop, LAPD! Stop! at the Buena Vista Hotel.
Patrick. 